And we're back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. And today, let's talk about Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is another one of those Ubisoft open world games. And maybe it is the best looking open world game of Ubisoft. I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm, I'm not sure whether this is really a faithful representation of the country of Bolivia. But still, it, it looks fantastic. The verticality, the different environments. It's... It's really awe-inspiring and it, it really makes you stop at times and smell the roses, so to speak. Now, the point of this game is to dismantle this cartel, this drug cartel or a cartel of bad guys. And it's a great idea. It, it feels a bit like the Nemesis system where you start taking out these smaller bosses and sort of work your way up to the head honcho. Although that's the idea here. The problem with this game is that it lacks character in many ways. I mean, y you play a nobody, and most of these bad guys are nobodies as well. So you never feel motivated to take down these thugs. The exploration of this game in this game is not very organic. You travel through these different regions on the map, and as you do that, the icons uh, representing missions and other stuff to do are revealed. So. The good thing about this system is it's do, it doesn't it does not include any tower climbing, but still you're still you know going after icons on a mini map, which is not again very organic or immersive in my opinion. But you'll never run out of things to do in this game in this open world. But the gameplay also becomes a slog as most of the missions sort of boil down to the same thing: go there, kill some bad guys, get some intel about the whereabouts of one of the bosses, do it again, do it again, until you have enough intel and seek out the boss and kill him. That's the gameplay loop here. Still, the shooting is fun. I do like the third-person perspective in this game as it gives you more view of your uh, surroundings. There are a lot of weapons in this game, a lot of vehicles to drive and fly. There are a lot of m weapon modifications, armors, uh, lots of customization for your character. And there's also an expensive uh, skill tree. And there's also something that I do appreciate a lot, and that's the freeform of doing things, whether you want to go in guns blazing or take these bad guys out in a more stealthy way, it is all possible. Hell, you can even just grab a helicopter, get into a hostile place, get the intel and get out. So that's really fun to do. I think the saving grace is really the co-op. It is designed for that and getting in and out of a session is really easy and shooting things together is always more fun than doing it alone. Although, I played long stretches of the game solo as a stealth character, and I did enjoy that for, well, for a while. I just wish I, I just had a motive or an incentive to actually care about anything that's going on in the game. Uh, the fact that there's really nothing changing in the world made me not enjoy this as much as I would have hoped. But I do appreciate Ubisoft trying different directions for their open world games, whether it is turning it, it into a MMO type of game like in the Division or a co-op experience like Wildlands. It, it, it's good to see Ubisoft doing and trying different things. And they're doing it again with Far Cry 5, I've been told, with the map editor or the arcade mode, so uh, it is called. And that's sort of the thing about this. It's, it tries something different and it works and it is enjoyable to a certain extent, but it never feels amazing or really exciting. That's what I think of Wildlands. Let me know what you think, and see you in the next video.